Brown rot is the now agreed term that was previously known as dry rot. It only takes place with a good deal of moisture as present, although the timber may dry out afterwards. The characteristic appearance of this timber is it becomes progressively brown and it breaks up into cuboid sections. These seem to occur running from the centre of the timber towards the bark, and these may represent the position of the old medallion rays. Also, there's a degree of concentric cracking, which again seems to be following lines such as the annual growth rings. This fungus lives by breaking down cellulose, and it was cellulose that formed the cell walls of the cells within the xylem, that is, the timber. Lignin was the substance that is laid down within these cell walls to give the tree strength, and this fungus is unable to break it down, so it still remains and forms the substance of the cubes. In this section of timber, you can make out the lines that represent the medallion rays, running from the centre to the air below the bark, also the concentric annual growth rings. These are two examples of fungi that commonly cause brown rot. The first example is the surprisingly named chicken of the woods, and the second is the oddly named beefsteak fungus, which looks just like a piece of raw meat. The final decay product is a red powder, it's either found lying amongst the wood itself, or sometimes lying at the bottom of the tree. This is the oak bracket, sometimes known as the weeping polypore. It's an example of a fungus that causes white rot in timber. Brown rot fungi are well known because of the terrible damage they do to household timber. However, they appear to be less evolved than the white rot, which can break down both cellulose and lignin. Some of the rarest insects in Britain are found within the brown rot, it being a very rare habitat within mostly older oak trees. It's the white rot fungi that cause the, the pattern of lines within timber that's beloved of woodturners and so on.